<laughs> Good morning. This is Lisa with Coffin Girl Nails, um, aka Deja Vu Molds and More. Um, I was out of town this weekend for my birthday, so I went and did a little shopping, a little shopping, a little shopping. Um, I really enjoy going to personal owned, the little tiny nail supply shops. So that's what I did. I went to Lubbock, Texas, and there were two nail supply shops there. And then I went to my usual here that's local. Um, I, I needed some supplies. Um, and, you know, anytime I get a chance to see any kind of acrylic colors or anything like that, I usually try to jump on it. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all my little haul. It looks like a hot mess of stuff here. Um, and let's just jump right into it. So the first one I'm going to show you is my local store. Now I love my local store. They constantly have really cool stuff. They have a great supply of things and I'm never really disappointed by anything. Um, I did start off by getting, let's see, oh yeah, see I'm like blocking the light, blocking the light. Let's see if I can move it over just a little bit. So I did get a new glitz, a new glam and glitz, and this is Ashes of Roses. Super pretty. Um, I'll do a part two video and just do my little uh, swatches of these for my how I tag them. And I went ahead and did Till and Me. Now this looks like silver, but I mean Till and Me is generally. A more teal color so I'm kind of interested in seeing how this one turns out um their their swatches I couldn't find their little swatch thing which is not normal so I don't know if they lost it or something and I was too lazy to go bug them about it because frankly I don't care I like collecting colors so there we go on that one now I let my daughter pick out a color because she is usually one of the people that I'm doing nails on pretty often so I did this one it's ray of sunshine so it is a glow so it's gonna glow and I can't wait to try this one too um, and then this is the glue that I use it's a brush on glue um, those little sticks I love them they work the I think it's KD something but every time I use them they get hard and I'm having to constantly have to cut them and crap so like I just get tired of it so I use this um, and then I did grab, I make cuticle oil, but I've been being really lazy, not making it. So I went ahead and bought this one and this is like a strawberry and let's see, how does it smell? Oh gosh, it smells good. I think the last one that I had was cherry and this one smells actually a lot better. So can't wait, can't wait. Um, now I did, I needed a new brush, so I did a thing. I got me a brush. Um, these guys always have really good quality brushes. I don't know. This one says Galaxy. Um, my last one from them, actually my last two are these. And I've had these suckers forever, dude, like forever, ever, so... Um, I've had them so long that you can actually see they're starting to curl up. I'm rough on my brushes. I use them a lot. Like I'd be carving in there. So sometimes they start curling up on me. Um, but I've had these for, oh my God. I think if you date back, you could probably look to see when I got these. Um, they actually crimped them themselves for me. And get them ready for me to use. So I love those guys. They're super great. Um, but I've had these for, I want to say, pushing two years. And I don't know the lifespan of a of no brush. This is kind of my first go around. But I do know that I just love it. Now this brush is a 14. I usually do a 12. So I'm kind of interested to see how this one's going to work. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'll pop it out real quick just to kind of give you all the sight. So see, it's a 14. 
Galaxy. And they prepped it for me and then they, they made, they put this coat on it. So if you hear it, uh, this is to get it to get used to being in its shape. And they crimped it. So I love these guys. They're so awesome. Um, they're just like a little personal owned shop. Um, and then I'm actually going to go to a different shop today and I will show you guys that shop. It's pretty freaking awesome. And then I needed a new set of these. Never ending. I use the hell out of these. Uh, so that's that. <clears throat> so that's all from that shop. Um, that one, it's called Sam Supplies. And it's located off of Evers in San Antonio. If you guys ever want to go see it. <clears throat> if you're ever in town, tell them Lisa sent you. I don't have any kind of discount codes or anything. So good luck with that. But yeah. So, I'll do the next one. It's less, but it's kind of cute. So, this is a shop in Lubbock. Um, oh, look. My sister-in-law, it was my birthday this weekend. So, my sister-in-law got me these. She thought they were so cute, which they are. So, I'm going to put them up on my little shelf. And I love them. They're so cute. Um, so, shout out to sister-in-law. Love you a bunch. Um, I always try to get a couple gel polishes. I don't use a lot of gel polish. Um, but I like to have variety just because some people prefer it. Um, I use the gel more than I do the regular. But here, I mean, voila. I love these. Uh, this one's Emerald, for the ones that want to know. Emerald Quartz 582 DND. And this one is Butterfly World Florida. Is that really a city? That's pretty neat. But if it is really a city, let me know. Chime in in the comments below. And it is like this really pretty, like sparkly. And again, I'll do swatches and y'all will see those. Okay, moving on. These I'm pretty excited about. I haven't ever done these. These are the moods. So mood effects by Glam and Glitz. So this one goes red and pink. So right now it's more pink. And then this one goes purple to pink. So those should be pretty interesting. Uh, they were actually really cheap where I went to. They were $8.50. Um, I didn't look them up online to see how much they are and, you know, regular price. But they came out to $8.50. Here locally, they sell them for like $10 to $12 to $14. Um, you know, but... Again, every little shop's going to be different. They're going to see where they can make their money and where people will pay more. I'm guessing in, in Lubbock at that little shop, people won't pay much more. So they probably have a lower price. Um, I went ahead and bought another one of these because it was actually cheaper over there. Because you can never have too many of those. Um, these, the straight edge ones, if you notice, they're straight. I use those sometimes to cut my coffin depending on the tips that I use. Um, sometimes I use scissors. It just really depends on what mood I'm in. <clears throat> um, this, I've never used this brand, so I'm kind of like, I got two of them because I just wanted to see. They were a decent price. Like, they were like $7.59 for, and it's, I guess, 1.5 ounces, which, I mean, if you compare it to the other you know, eight something for one ounce or my regular colors are usually like six, seven dollars for a one ounce. So not bad, seven fifty nine for one ounce. It's holographic and this one is gold, which you can see it. And then this one I'm kind of interested in seeing because I mean, if you look, it's pretty holographic in there. Um, I don't think my camera catches it very well not like this but it actually looks similar to this so y'all will see me do swatches and then last but not least on this store I did the green one which wow is that it's super sparkly I'm kind of wondering what the pigment will look like but stay tuned for video two and you will see so done with that store 
Now this I was really excited about. So I went into this store and they had, you know, they had the usual uh, acrylics, but they didn't have a lot. But then I started looking and they, they had, you know, made their own acrylics. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try their acrylics. Um, now this store had non-MMA um, monomer, but then right next to it they had MMA monomer. So it was like both, which is kind of crazy that they even offer MMA when you're not legally supposed to use it. Um, I don't know the exact rules on selling it, but they sure did have it available. Um, so from what I understand, MMA is only available in the monomer. So if you guys know any different, I don't want to accidentally grab any acrylic that has anything in it that's not supposed to be in it. But so they do make their own acrylics too. And they make them extremely pigmented, which for being in Lubbock, Texas... It's kind of a small town, so I'm assuming that you want to kind of be the next level up in the market of anything that you do. So I could definitely see why they would make their own acrylic so that they can charge their price and it be quality. Because to be honest, whenever I do use Glam and Glitz sometimes, or I use Mia Secrets, then it's not as pigmented as I would like. Like, I find that I have to keep working with it, keep working with it. Um, now, these are Glam and Glitz colors. But again, you have to, like, kind of keep layering it to get it to the color that you want it. <clears throat> on a couple of them, so... Moving on. Um, I'm interested in seeing what theirs does. Um, they, I did get some pretty cool colors. Uh, so... I did get this. This is such a pretty, 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 pretty color. It's called Purple Pumps. Again, we'll do a video too and get all them acrylics in there. Um, I did go ahead and get Joyce. Another blue. It seems like I'm on a blue kick. Look, I got this, this, this is kind of a bluey color. What am I thinking? Like, I don't need that many blues, but I kind of do. Um, I got, I've been into like some pastels, so I did get Karen. This one's like a real soft yellow. I'm hoping it comes out a little lighter, but who knows? I guess we'll see. They, uh, the swatch of this looked kind of pastel, so I'm hoping that it is pastel. Now they carry their own nudes. I'm so excited for this one because it's a little bit darker. Yeah, I don't even... That's so cool. See, they even have their own little doohickey. And when you have nails, it's absolutely impossible to open. But so that's a pretty nice looking nude. I'm hoping that it will come out pretty strong. Because my problem is I have three different Mia Secret nudes. Um, the ones that everybody uses. And <clears throat> I want it to be like a one swipe boom. Like, I feel like I have to put it on and do a small layer and then put another layer. And then so my whole arch ends up being the nude in order for it to not be transparent. Which, to me, I don't want it to be that big of a lump of nude. Because first off, some people don't like their nails that thick. And then second off, I like to encapsulate my nails. So when you're doing a nude ombre or something like that... You know, I run into the problem of this ends up being freaking extremely thick. And then when you go to encapsulate it, it's even more thick. So I don't like that. And I'm not that great with my shape yet. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm getting better, obviously, with my shape. But I always end up having to drill. And if I have to put a thick, thick, thick clear, then, you know, so I can get my shape good, then it's hard to have a nude that you have to pow, 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 because it ends up being super thick. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I be rambling, so my bad. Um, so this is another beautiful color. Look how dark this blue is. Like, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Look at that. So I'm hoping that that's a really good blue too, because I actually do need more blues. <clears throat> and I need more light light colors and more dark colors. I tend to go for 
this type of color and then I look in my drawer and I have like 14 pinks and like 14 purples and like a green so I definitely am trying to widen my range and I think that's so far doing a pretty good job if you see all the stuff I have it's not too bad um okay so this one Now these were like, I think $7. Um, you know, again, everywhere you go, you're going to get a different price. If these are as pigmented as they look here, to me, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, because I need the pigment to be nice and strong. I like doing a thin layer of color and then doing clear because I feel like my clear is what builds it and keeps it strong. Thin color, if you do a whole nail in thin color, I mean, in, in color, you'll notice that it's a little more weak. So I do a base of clear, a layer of color, and then, you know, encapsulate in clear. So another yellow. And again, this is so dang cute. And then I have a few more things. I did get a soft white because I'm always mixing my clear and my white and making my own. So I figured, forget it, I'll just buy one. Uh, this one was a little more pricey because of obviously it's a lot bigger. But I don't honestly remember the price of it. Um, I got a black, which obviously is just a black. And there's like a hair running around. And then I got another nude, like a lighter nude. And then I got another a new bottle because I put my top coat in these. And boy, look at this mess. My top coat has definitely seen better days. Look at that. Isn't it ugly? Like it's all crusty. So, yeah. So I went ahead and got a new one. So it's really just an empty bottle with a brush. And then last but not least... I couldn't resist this and like I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna use it um, but it was so cute and I asked them to crimp it they crimped it but they did not set it or anything so look it looks a hot mess look at that that's freaking pathetic looking um, I'm gonna set it with some top coat or not some top coat some actual uh, just regular clear polish and let it set and see if it'll form a shape but even look the shape looks hideous like who knows anyways this is supposed to be a 14 but I just really fell in love with this I've never had a sparkle brush so I figure it'll look cute in my little display so even if I never use it but I couldn't resist it was so cheap I think it was like 12 bucks so I was like, yeah, I'll try it. And they did crimp it, but I swear on earth, I think they crimped it in the wrong spot. So it's like crimped like this. But I mean, maybe it lays out pretty nice. So look, that's not too bad. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll do another video with this one versus the other one and see how it goes. 14 versus 14. So that is it for my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And oh my god, this video is ridiculously long. So thanks for bearing with me. And I will talk to y'all in part two where I actually, you know, swatch those. So, so much love and I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye.